Hi, my name is Emily Turpak and I am a realtor in Philadelphia and the surrounding suburbs in Pennsylvania and South Jersey. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between an FHA loan and a conventional loan and why sellers prefer one over the other. Unless you're a veteran, you'll either purchase a home using a conventional loan or an FHA loan. Now, there are a few key differences between these two loans, so let's take a look. And be sure to watch until the end where I explain exactly why sellers prefer for you to use a conventional loan over an FHA loan. For an FHA loan, you'll need to put a minimum of 3.5% down, whereas on conventional, you can put a minimum of 3% down. Credit score wise, you'll need above a 620 to go conventional, but you can be anywhere between 500 and 620 and still purchase a home with an FHA loan. Now let's talk about PMI. PMI is private mortgage insurance. Now with an FHA loan, you'll pay PMI for the life of the loan. And if you're putting less than 20% down and doing a conventional loan, you'll also pay PMI, but it'll automatically fall off once you reach 20% equity. The cost of PMI will depend on your loan size and credit score, but on average, it'll be anywhere between $100 and $200 a month. And the cost of this is all wrapped up into your mortgage payment. Now you're probably wondering why does a seller care what loan you use since they get paid the same in the end regardless. But the reason why sellers prefer a conventional loan over an FHA loan is because of an extra inspection that is required of an FHA loan. So when you get a mortgage on a home, most lenders will require that the property be appraised by a third party company, essentially to make sure that you're not overpaying. However, an FHA appraiser takes it a step further. This can be peeling paint because it might contain lead, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, handrails going up and down staircases, termite damage, and things like that. If they see any of these issues during their inspection, they're going to require that they be taken care of before closing. And most of the time, this falls on the seller to complete. Whereas on a conventional loan, the appraiser isn't as concerned about these issues. And most of the time, no repairs are required of the seller. And this is exactly why sellers prefer to see a buyer using a conventional loan over an FHA loan. Now, adding smoke detectors and a missing handrail isn't a big deal per se, but if your offer is nearly identical to that of a buyer who is going conventional, they're going to choose that offer over yours. Therefore, if you find yourself in a multiple offer situation, you just might need to sweeten your offer a little bit more to rise to the top. But don't let this discourage you. It's not impossible to get a home with an FHA loan. Sometimes it just requires a little more strategy and patience. It will also help if your agent can talk to the listing agent about what an FHA inspection entails. Since FHA loans aren't as common, I have found that listing agents don't necessarily understand what goes into that inspection. But if your agent can explain that the repairs that might come up will be relatively minor, you might have a better shot at getting your offer accepted. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tap that like button and click here to subscribe. And for more videos, click here and here.